Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Michael Masseri, and today, welcome back to the Top 10 Worst Nick Jr. Shows of All Time. Make sure you watch Part 1, because if you didn't, we're going deep into the deepest and darkest areas of Nick Jr. Let's go! Number 5 is Mia and me. This is this has to be the most forgettable show ever created on the Jones. I literally forgot all the names of these characters except for Mia. That's how forgettable the show is. The only thing I remember about this is the intro. All she does this weird ass thirteen year old girl who shouldn't be even working for Nick Jr. She says. And then a bunch of things flow around, and then she turns into a really ugly CGI fairy. Let me find, let me find this out for myself. I am Mia. Okay, that is weird as hell. Let me move along before I believe in fairies. Number four, Zack and Quack. What the heck is this? So Nick Jr. thought it would be a great idea to make a show about a pop-up book. A pop-up book? How is a pop-up book going to entertain a child? And they decided to come up with the most ugliest animation they've ever seen. Yay! Every character in the show is forgettable and annoying. There's this Zack who just pops off. Off the screen. Quack. 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 That's all he says. The, her, his weird ass c girlfriend. And finally, we have the squirrels who like. That is the best joke I made all day. Let's go to number three. These fi final three shows, my top three worst Nick Jr. shows, but they're also gonna be in my top ten worst educational shows of all time. So prepare yourself. Number three. Door the Explorer. If someone asked you who is the heavyweight champion of Nick Jr., most people would probably say Dora. They're having a party in this picture, but this is no party. Dora is extremely annoying. One of the most annoying characters I've ever seen in an educational show of all time. And there's too many background characters that get little to no screen time per episode. Like him, him, her, blah, 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 blah. Literally, the only characters I see in every episode are Dora, Boots, or Mac. Those are literally the only characters I see per episode. And she, she look, don't you think she looks a little too young to be without her parents? Just Dora is just so cheesy. Everything about this show is absolutely stupid. And, and their newer spinoff is horrible too. That's an ugly picture. <laughs> wow. Wow. Background characters like these are just plain horrible. That's the ugliest door costume I've ever seen. Even the door merchandise is horrible. Okay, guys. I'm about to make the craziest theory you ever hear heard in your life. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Dora is on drugs. That's my best theory. Think of it. She hangs out with talking animals. That's one. She she talks to inanimate objects. That's two. And she has the ability to jump into books. Don't you think Dora's smoking way too much or something? Get on that, Matt Pat. I'm waiting for this film theory. Come on, Matt Pat. In conclusion, we need Dora and all of her spin-offs to end. I wonder what number two is. Ah, what is this? What the hell is this? Number two 
Poison and Monster Machines. <gasps> Modern Day Nick Jr. sucks! Oh. This is the bad thing about Modern Day Nick Jr. Anyway, let's talk about my main issue with this program. The characters are so unoriginal and stupid. First of all, there's this weird ass kid who just says, yeah, 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 yeah. and then supposedly his girlfriend tells useless facts that only two year olds can get. Blades. Oh my god. The most annoying character. He's smoking way too much of something. And he screams from the top of his lungs. It kind of sounds like this. I'm a <laughs> yeah. Very bad voice. So this one is a mix between a truck and a dinosaur and only talks in caveman. This guy looks like a tiger for some reason. Starla, for some reason, is a cowgirl slash truck at the same ch time. This is the useless girl. This is the worst sidekick villain I have ever seen in my life. Green Monster Chuck. Easy. But his name is Pickle. Pickle. His name is Pickle. How? What do Pickle and Monster Truck have to have in common? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, and there's his side, and don't, and that's his boss, Crusher. Seriously, Crusher, that is such an unoriginal name. Why not use Dexos or Iron Wolf? That would be a better name. Unoriginal characters. That's my main issue with this show. Modern Day Nick Jr. is a curse. Because it only cares about four shows. Blaze, which we just talked about. The Decent Shimmer and Jun. The OK Paw Patrol. And the Extremely Ugly slash Extremely Cute Mud stuff. But no other show filled with me with so much hate that I have to say, you know what? It started the curse of Modern Day Nick Jr. Here we go. And the number one worst Nick Jr. show and the show that caused the modern Nick Jr. curse is Teletubbies 2016. Oh my god! Tell me if you're not cringing right now, something's wrong with you. I don't think this should be classified as a educational show because these guys are extremely stupid let's look let's take a look at one of the episodes known as flying and see what they do so the name of this episode is flying i wonder what they're gonna do in this episode this is gonna be so amazing it's a what what that is not flying hey bro Ever heard of the word gravity? Stop that right now! What can be worse than stupid things? Teaching kids stuff? Is that the fact that they do ever the same plot every episode? And I will explain that in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching my top 10.